it's Liv. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite veggie burger recipes and my new favorite way to make them. So if that sounds good to you, then keep watching. And that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. To a food processor, add some cooked black beans, cooked lentils, handful of chopped green onion, some cumin and garlic, and some dried herbs, and then just follow that up with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then you're going to just process that until it is a bit smoother. You can mash this by hand if you don't have a food processor. It will just take longer to get it to the proper consistency. And you don't want this to be too chunky, but you don't want it to be completely pureed. So somewhere in between that, um, yours might be a little bit different than mine, but just try and get it to a similar consistency that you see here. And then just add a little bit of barbecue sauce and put it into a large mixing bowl. Then we're just adding some ground flax and some breadcrumbs. Then just stir that up until it's a little bit more combined. And then you are going to get a baking sheet with some parchment paper and your mason jar lids. So I bought these, I think I got 12 of them for about $3 at the grocery store. So they're pretty easy to find. And I just spritz mine with a little bit of oil so that they don't stick. And then take a heaping tablespoon of the burger mixture and just press it into each of the lids so that it is a perfectly formed and uniform shape patty. Then you are just going to bake those at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until they are a bit firm to the touch. And then you can just pop them out and they should come out really easily with no problems. One of my favorite sauces to put on burgers is spicy mayo and to make this I just take some vegan mayo, a couple tablespoons, and I mix in some hot sauce like sriracha and just stir it until it's combined. You could also add a bit of lime juice if you want, that tastes really good as well. tons of veggie burger recipes out there but from what I've seen most veggie burger recipes have so many ingredients this recipe has very minimal ingredients but okay I'll be honest I was kind of shocked at how good they taste just because they're so simple I thought they would really taste strongly of beans I guess but they are just amazing they're just so good <laughs> I highly suggest having these with the potato wedges recipe that I made or the onion rings recipe that I made a few videos ago also. And you could definitely make these and bring them to like a family gathering or a summer barbecue or whatever because they're already made so you can just heat yours up when it's time to eat it. That's what I normally do. I just bring my own patties and then reheat them and then you get to have burgers with everyone else and you don't have to feel left out. And if there are brave people in your family who don't make fun of you for being vegan and who actually want to try your food. I have a few of those. I promise they will love these. Like they are delicious, especially if you put on all of their favorite toppings and yeah, they'll love them. I'm pretty sure half the appeal of a burger is like the tomato and the cheese and the mayo and ketchup. These are really good. I love them. Ooh, and I want to know what is your guys' favorite burger topping? My friends Greg and Elvira put sliced rings of pineapple on their burgers recently and they had it with sweet potato fries on the side and they said they were the best burgers they ever had. I hate pickles and onions on my burgers and mustard. I can't eat any of those three things on a burger. It ruins it for me, but I love cheese, ketchup, tomato, lettuce, sprouts, mayo, sauces, all of that. But yeah, tell me your guys' favorite burger toppings in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you make these, as usual, take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Lives Healthy Life. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.